welcome back to 13C. Crazy windy November day here, but uh, we're kind of tucked back in the trees again like we normally do. Uh, so excuse any audio issues uh, related to some of the footage we got here today. Huge thank you and shout out right out of the gate to Gunrunner219. This is his can uh, that he's here with us. He's just off camera. We'll see him do some shooting with us here today. Uh, bringing this out so we can get this video out to you this month. Trying to stay committed to that one can a month uh, or one NFA item a month at least. Uh, video that we're doing been crazy busy in our life that's why video dropped down a little bit we're going to be firing those back up and coming back out with a more regular schedule here uh, as this one and a couple more drop here in november we'll get back up to full speed here for december so right into it the gem tech one uh you've seen this a lot we actually did a video on this uh well a video with this in it of some 30 caliber cans uh that we did probably about three or four months ago go ahead and check that video out if you want to see how this meters up against some other ones we get into some numbers that are from uh, officially from Gemtech a little bit later on. But this is the Gemtech 1. This one's actually part of a trilogy set that's no longer available, but the one is still, you know, as a standalone can, still available. It's, like I said, a 30 caliber can rated from everything from 17 HMR all the way over to 300 Win Mag and pretty much everything in between. Titanium and inconel construction weighing in at about 16.3 ounces. This is the uh, SOCOM rated or meets or exceeds SOCOM standards. So for that, for example, it has a full auto rating. Uh, you can use it barrel lengths all the way down to uh, seven and a half inches on a 5.56, 12 inches on 7.62 by 51, 300 blackout down to seven and a half inches, 300 win mag uh, is on the upper end of what this can handle. And for that 300 win mag, you've got a 24 inch barrel restriction. So pretty much any normal calibers you're gonna be shooting, uh, very usable barrel lengths down to about as low as you would ever want to go anyway, be it 556, 308, you know, 300 blackout, your main purposes for, you know, something like this. Uh, mounts up using either a quick mount or uh, direct thread. Their quick mount system is their proprietary bylock. Been around for a while, decent bylock system. Uh, it's got a high temp Cerakote on here uh, as it's finished out. And the decibel rating is 32 decibels, kind of one of their standards and depending on what caliber you're shooting what barrel length everything else check out the video we did if you want to see some real world results stacked up against some other cans uh, for for length weight uh, decibel reduction stuff like that and what this thing can handle over the spectrum kind of been around for a while and uh, and, and, and a decent can overall you know, it's one of those things we try and get into right we want to bring you the facts and what your ear is, what you're using it, what your purposes are, are going to determine exactly what what silencer, what suppress, sound suppressor is going to work best for you. So it's kind of taking those things into totality. Go back through. At this point, we have, I think, 36, roughly, at least three dozen different silencer videos on different silencers and or silencer meter, metering testing. We have at least four or five different videos just with metering data in there for some of the stuff that we've done here. We're trying to be really inclusive, and in the spring, we want to have our uh, buddy Bill from nfatalk.org back out here to help us do some more metering. Um, thank you and shout out to Silencer Shop. They've been a huge help in all this and uh, and actually done a little bit so that we can kind of sponsor some of these videos to bring them out to you so that uh, so we're able to do some of this stuff, help get us some support with some technical stuff. As you guys know right now, it is a crazy time out there in the firearms market. Check out silencershop.com. Um, Put the link up there. We've talked about them before. They're SID kiosk. We've done a number of different transfers through them for NFA items, uh, silencers. It makes it the process really easy. Uh, put your fingerprints in. You upload them up to them. They keep your fingerprints on record for as long as you want them to, and uh, which means that when you buy a can, you don't have to go through the whole fingerprint process again. Especially with we're coming back into more lockdowns now. It looks like for this whole coof situation. Uh, so you know a lot of a lot of police departments are getting back to the point where they don't want you to come in and get fingerprints done, or they're closing their lobbies, whatever the case may be, except for not except for emergencies, and it's hard to get fingerprinted. Getting that done with this kiosk really makes it easier to keep your purchases rolling while all this weirdness is going on. In any event, thanks so much, everybody. We really appreciate your support. Like I said, these videos are going to pick back up, get back up to regular speed. Uh, thank you for your support. Uh, we have Patreon if you're interested in that. Uh, as well as our swag shop, check that out. And of course, 13cgunreviews.com. We've been had our Instagram account deleted at this point by the time you're seeing this. Uh, Facebook hit us along with Mr. Guns and Gear and some other folks. So if you're looking for us on IG, uh, you know, the thousands and thousands of subscribers we have there, poof, they've taken it all away. Hit us up on Parlor. We have a backup account on Instagram, 13C Media. If you want to check us out there, we'll still keep posting there to kind of try and keep things active for the folks who are still on Instagram. But things like Parlor, uh, we're going to set up on Rumble, Full 30. Obviously, you're seeing a lot of our videos drop on Full 31st. 
um, support these other groups, Gunstreamer, stuff like that, so that we can have a community that can continue as these lockdowns or, or deletions uh, and censorship continues. We need alternatives and we have to have these other platforms up and running ahead of time before the final crackdowns happen because you know I, we're still just the beginning phases of this. They just keep rolling out new stuff. Anyway, thanks everybody. Take care, stay safe. We'll talk soon.